can see I have the north, the south, the east, and the west. And don't mind this little stain that I got here. <laughs> I was, last night, I was um, having a little snack while I was drying this up and I got it on the paper, but I didn't want to redo it. So I was like, whatever, who cares? You guys aren't gonna care. And don't mind my drawing because I'm not, I'm not a professional artist. Um, I could actually do this um, and create something on graphics, but um, it's just easier to draw it up sometimes quickly to be able to show what I've seen. But essentially I have the north, the south, the east, and the west directions. And then these are the actual stones themselves that are going in that interdirectional um, phase in between the directions. Um, the, the hyperdimensional interdirectional powered um, running similar to like the angular ley lines and um, they're doing that so they can stay undetectable in the earth's dimensional fields and this is like I said this was how the ancients used to do magic um, and it's a very occult technique that they're using here at the Georgia Guidestones. Now the languages that they paired in the directions are also important as well. Um, Russia and Chinese going northwest English and Spanish going northeast, Swahili and Hindi going southeast, and Arabic and Hebrew going southwest. Now they're pulling the currents from the Aquilan Stargate site from the Rock Eagle Effigy Mound through the Arabic and Hebrew. And then they're also funneling energy off of, so the energy is going this way in the Earth's field. It's going from the northeast to the southwest. So it's going through English and Spanish translation and it's coming out Arabic and Hebrew. So like I said, that current is probably going both ways because the gate system there is clockwise and anti-clockwise from the Eagle Rock um, effigy mound, which is the Aquilan Stargate. So there's probably a interdimensional clockwise and anti-clockwise flow of energy that's coming through those particular stone sets themselves. Now, one thing, and I, I haven't had time to look into the other ones, but these are the ones that seem to be the most activated in terms of energy flow at the Georgia Guidestones. Now, another aspect to the Georgia Guidestones that I think is really, really important is the, is the fact that these stones are mostly silicone di dioxide. Um, the Rock Eagle location is quartz, so it's pulling energy to and from a quartz location. Um, quartz is hard. It's non-foliated metamorphic rock, which was originally pure quartz sandstone. Quartz is um, crystalline mineral composed of silica, um, silicon dioxide. So most transitors, most transdimensional gate systems um, are going to be running the silicone. Um, made from very pure silicone. Remember I told you that the AI Singularity Vortexes at the Applegate spaceship in Silicon Valley in California, they're running their transmissions through silica. It's one way that they are um, personally and feel they're hijacking the double diamond sun light body templates um, and are running the um, the um, black spiral and the red spiral AI waves into the consciousness field and also keeping people stimulated under the, the, the Jimmy job um, and the RNA and the uh, DNA, um, basically to keep people plugged into the electronically controlled AI hives, which is based in silica. So these granite stones here, they are 74% silica base as well. So it's really interesting that at all these particular nefarious sites that they're running their technology through silica based templates. I think that the silica also has a lot to do with the crystals. Um, silica is a crystalline solid in which um, it's atoms, molecules, ions, they're basically microscopically arranged to um, um, into like a crystal lattice that extends in all directions. So it has a lot to do with the interdirectional technology that they're running here. And um, it's just, it's, 
it's it's working um, on the basic crystal structures of the planet. So I think it's a way that they're trying to break up the inorganic crystal grid matrix. Um, and it also alters and determines, um, I think the gender identity distortions within the Merkaba spirals as well. So it's, it's all about the, um, you know, the distortions that they're running, trying to break up and scatter and fragment universal laws. Um, so a lot, definitely a lot of the silica technology is happening here at the Georgia Guidestones. Um, now here's the, the time capsule um, seeds that are off to the left side. So I do believe that those seeds are underneath this capstone here, that they, they put the time capsule with the seeds underneath here. Um, and this, this here is the actual capstone. So I called this a ritual platter. This actually is a large stone that goes down that has a slit in the middle as well. But on the top, there's this large capstone. I do feel that this is their ritual platter. This is where they're doing the black magic. This is where they are running the Baphomet rituals where they are making their offerings to Baal, um, essentially, where they are um, um, funneling that energy down into intelligent spirals. So you can see here in my picture how I drew these spirals that come down are basically following a flow of energy, right? It's following the flow of energy um, that's pushing the spiral of intelligent spirals, um, funneling it down into, and it's what it's doing is basically because they're ritualizing here and shafting that energy down the shaft, that this is essentially um, disrupting the life force energies existing in the atomic 1D fields, um, the first dimensional bodies, and this is exploiting the astral fields. It's creating astral warfare, targeting these attacks to those that are carrying those persecution codes, right? The crucifixion codes. Um, generation for dissension cycles in the planetary field. This is all propagating this here at this site. And um, they're, they're channeling this down through, because this ritual platter here, the capstone aligns to the celestial pole. It aligns at the highest alignment at 12 p.m. noon. And then they're also running solar energy horizontally here. So it's there's something in the way that they've funneled this centered capstone by putting like a slit or a hole in the middle of it, that they're funneling solar energy horizontally. Okay, um, I'm seeing that that this comes down into a nuclear pool reservoir, and these nuclear pool pool reservoirs are deep down in the ground, um, and I feel that these are what are circumventing those rips and tears in the space time continuums that they're nuclear powered, um, and this is what's circumventing those harmful messages. Um, sourcing from alien implants, technology, alien machinery, alien hijacking stone granite, um, hijacking the stone, stoning concepts, um, alien hybridization, capitalization upon humanity. This is what this is circumventing um, down these shafts that were designed to do to do that, that go down 300 feet into the ground. In the lower, lower D astral tumultuous fields, this in turn is affecting the central nervous system. Um, it's affecting the root chakra. So this is how they actually capitalize on the lower D astral is by fragmenting and fracturing a global collective root chakra, individual and personal biological root chakra. Um, it's also affecting the metabolic rate of the body and the biological rhythms, the RNA and the DNA, like I said, capitalizing not the silica distortions to pull people into the AI hive. Basically, they're channeling and funneling this ritual energy down. So if they have a ritual here, uh, funneling and my lighting is really crazy today. I'm so sorry about my lighting, guys. Like, I'm filming in the afternoon, so it's just, it's coming through every single window that I have, even with my blinds closed. Um, but essentially, um, it's funneling this ritual energy down and using, like I said, those celestial pole alignments at the highest um, noon hour 
okay? And using this solar energy here to transmit those interdirectional transmissions through the silica, through horizontal solar energy, with this shaft being about 300 feet down here in the ground and down into this nuclear pool reservoir. Um, and I've been seeing these nuclear pool reservoirs all over the globe, all in the listed locations that I just mentioned before, China, Georgia, Russia, Moscow, Russia, Ukraine, Sea of Azov, Ukraine, Moon Portals, Orion Portals, Chernobyl, Fukushima, Poland, Germany, Australia, Vatican, Rome, Kaaba, Temple Mount, Georgia, Colorado, California, New York, Washington, D.C. Um, it's really, really, really crazy because I've been seeing these nuclear pools for a really, really long time. And I've been trying to emphasize that every time I have group grid sessions that we need to clear nuclear rings, smog, um, pools, okay, in the grids. These are building up in the grids. Georgia Guidestones is, is um, a place that they're doing this and there's actually high technology to do it. Now, another thing that I think the slit in the center, because they have a slit in this capstone, like down in the main running granite stone underneath it, I think that they are allowing intelligent plasma in. So intelligent plasma is basically swarming the location because intelligent plasma is actually called to places that are ritualized, that are used for sacred offerings and all types of you know, powerful energies intelligent plasma will be called to that energy. And what I think they're doing is through that slit is they're allowing that intelligent plasma to form itself and construct itself into different shapes and then navigate itself down in its form, down in through that slit and down in through that stone shaft and down into that nuclear pool. Um, and this is how they're exploiting more dimensional and alchemical aspects in the astral fields. Um, again, for harvesting, harvesting the collective astral body, harvesting sexual energies, harvesting basically, you know, everything that they can harvest, basically. So this was what I wanted to show you guys. Um, we have to focus on upgrading the consciousness of the Earth's field, of the Earth's grids, and of the people who create these things, right? It's all rooted in this deep occultism. It is a life force of its own. It is... I mean, the Georgia Guidestones were constructed under a Babylonian belief, and it does actually say that at the stones themselves, that they are there to guide humanity into the age of reason directly from that site. 